What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jake, and uh, I am now doing a playthrough of Gone Home, as I had said in uh, one of my playthroughs of Fallout New Vegas. Um, I've been keeping tabs on this game for a while. It was uh, made by uh, the Fulbright Company, which uh, they it consists of, I believe, like four members, and they helped develop. Uh, they were on the development team for, I think, like, Bioshock or Bioshock 2 or something like that. Anyway, so, I mean, they have some experience, and, uh, so, yeah, I wanted to go and take a look at this. It seems like a pretty interesting game. Uh, it's full-on, it's an absolute indie title. Um, so, uh, it could be a little weird, I'm not really sure. I've heard a lot of good things about it from people who have played a little bit of it. So, um, I got off Steam for, uh, 18 I got off Steam for, like, $18.00. Um, it's usually twenty dollars, but I don't know. It's like a, it's literally was just released, so I decided to go ahead and take a look at it. And so here we are. So let's go ahead and get started. This game has full controller support, which is awesome in my mind. I'm very happy for that. Hold on a sec. Sorry if you guys heard that. I was adjusting the microphone. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. So yeah, I've heard uh, that this music has some pretty cool music, or this music has some pretty cool music. This game has some pretty cool music. Uh, and as you can see, it takes place June 7th, 1995, 1.15 a.m. And their reasoning, from what I understand, uh, for having it take place in 1995 is because they um, said that that was the last time that there was like no digital communication. This was like the last year for that kind of stuff. So. It just made sense. Why the fuck is the frame rate doing so bad right now? Alright, we're fine. It's raining. What's this? This is my bad. My name is Caitlin Greenbrier. I live in Portland. Cool. Alright, so let's take a look at some stuff. This is our person right here. Born on December 12th, December. No, December 12th, 1973. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, she was uh, traveling abroad. I forgot about that. Yeah, she was in Amsterdam, evidently. So. Huh. Fuck is this? Fuck you, cop. It's a duck. I don't like ducks. Give me that key. Oh, a note. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please don't go digging around trying to find where I am. I don't know any, or I don't want anyone scratching out mom and dad to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you. Sam. Alright, cool. It's gay. She loves someone. She has emotions. Is there anything in here? Ah. Oh yeah, this is direction is to work for the mom or dad or whoever. Evidently, travel time is an hour and ten minutes. That uh, You would think that that would be something that they would try to calculate before uh, moving to a new house, which they did do, as you can see from the uh, mover's uh, bill. Dear Katie, so much has changed. Even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything. And if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. Magazine Stephen King 50 contests with up to $21,000 in prizes. Critiques the art of feedback. It published The Secret. Blah, 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 blah. 
Fuck off. Alright, so. It's a faucet. What else is there? There's gotta be other things. Light. Janice Greenbrier. That is the, uh, that's Kate's mother. Kate is being the main character. So that's my mother, evidently. Trophies. And then this thing. I don't understand why that's there. Ooh. Turn on the light. The Holy Bible. Uh-oh. I threw this on the ground. I don't want to get in trouble. I am shit at reading cursive, so I'm not going to even try. Um, I did read this earlier in a test like test run and uh, so yeah basically um, this is a friend of Janice uh, Kate's mother um, her name's Carol and she's kinda just you know sending a friendly letter to talk to so if you guys wanted to read that you could board games ain't got shit in this place the fuck is going on Let's go in here. What's in what's in here? Read itinerary. Huh. Yeah, so she had a lot of places that she flew to. She says she flew to London, Amsterdam, Paris, uh Boston, fucking Seattle, San Francisco, and goes on and on. Give me that marker. Uh oh. I'm really not liking how slow the... I think I'm gonna adjust that. Can I adjust my controls? There we go. Maybe that'll help. Not really. Whatever, we'll get through it. Right, I wanna... Yep. Damn it. Alright. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever... Ha Wait, what? Oh. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. Bitch. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. There's a family photo. There's Sam, there's Kate, there's Jan, whoever the fuck that guy is. Terry, apparently, that's his name. Terry's a stupid name. He should probably consider killing himself. Grabbing a name like that. Ooh. What's... Welcome, new student. We hope that you are as excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. Please be sure to bring the following with, uh, with you on your first day of classes so that you can get right into the swing of things. One sturdy folder with pockets for each of your six periods, one line notebook per period, for, or one large notebook with six divided sections, 
At least six pens, blue or black ink, and six pencils. One box of colored pencils, a standard combination lock for your assigned locker. A nutritious lunch for $2.50 or $2.50 for a lunch provided by the school cafeteria. And a positive attitude. <laughs> Please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before and be ready for the first bell to ring at 8 a.m. See you soon, and again, welcome. Beth Valance, Principal. I'm a cunt. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. Great. Wait, so the place is like haunted or something? That's odd. But yeah, come on. It's Paris. Hey, something to read. Okay. Mom. Nah. It's thunder. Mom, Dad, and Sam. August 2nd, 1994. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I have done many Parisian. Yeah, I guess it would be Parisian. I don't know. Parisian things, including... Uh, eating? Apparently the... Oh, e okay. Eating Le Petit de Noir. I, I can't pronounce shit like that. So, And wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company. Since you are my favorite sister, love you all, Katie. Fuck that. Alright, so, let's look at other things. Pack of cards. Real fucking interesting. Alright. Um, pencil. Let's read the obituary. Okay. Oscar Doc Masson. Oscar Masson, 60, of Boone Co County, died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Masson was born on September 8, 1933, in the house that would be his home for the rest of his life. He attained his degree in a, in a pharmacy at a young age and, and returned to Boone County to practice. He quickly became a well-loved figure at the, center, uh, at the center of the community. In the decades preceding his past, he was seldom seen outside his home. Uh, service will be held this Sunday at the First Methodist Church at 1 p.m. All are welcome. His, sur his survivors include his nephew, Terrence Greenbrier, as well as, in spirit, the people of Boone County to whom he provided wellness and comfort. All right, so uh, yeah, um, awesome. So that's mine now. Wait, hold on a sec. Was there something else? Yeah, photo. No, I want the photo. Huh? All right, cool. Let's keep going. So apparently this is like supposed to be a haunted house or something. I don't know. It's just that game. Ooh, a fan. Cool. It does things. All right. Electrical inspection form. Name of insured applicant: Terrence Greenbrier. Uh, property address: whatever. Does the entire electrical system meet local codes? Blah, 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 blah. Wiring and house is technically up to safety and amperage requirements. However, multiple layers of wiring have been added into structure over the last hundred years. Uh, system is frequently unpredictable. Lights, uh, wait, sorry, I lost my line. Lights blink out for no clear reason. Pressure on floorboards and door frames disrupts circuits wired directly behind the surface. Probably reworking the electrical system would be highly destructive to the walls, floor, and fixtures of the structure. After discussion with Mr. Greenbrier, since there are no current safety uh, concerns, issues will not be addressed. Um, required information, blah, 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 fuck off. September 2nd, 1994, when that was, that was a thing. Okay, so, what does this have? That's nothing, because, fuck you, because that. Alright, marker. Examine paper. Um, 
Alright, they say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LDCD player, you'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share that particular. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's a binder. No, close. I keep getting the feeling something fucked up's gonna happen at some point. Maybe it's just because I feel like this should be a horror game, even though I th don't think it is. Why? Am I stuck? Okay, there we go. Oh, god damn it. I don't have the combination. Wait, was it in the... No, it wouldn't be in there. That's, that's silly. I'm stupid. Wouldn't be in there. Maybe it's in here. Turn on the lights. This is a big-ass fucking house. Is that a thing? No, that's, that's, that's not a thing. Okay. Um, in there? No. Probably not. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Magazine. This is kinda hot. Cool, whatever. Fuck you, coaster. Throwing stuff isn't as violent as I'd want it to be. that. Oh. So dad writes Brooks. Brooks. Books. He writes Brooks, apparently. Stranger under my roof. I really don't want to read that. So if you want to read that, feel free. 0451. I'm going to try that combination. Alright, Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non-sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Theater of, uh, Aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations on your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd just be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age uh, who would take half your, uh, half your rate to write stuff I could actually use. But David's known for a known you for a long time and he's the boss so I'm giving you one more shot on his say so you should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again then everybody will be happy Brent Kurtwood reviews editor home theater aficionado magazine blah 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 cool so that's the thing ah, fuck it I'm gonna read this Alright, so as it say, teen years are fraught with change of all types, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. But these changes don't affect, don't just affect your teen. Your teen's turbulent years are a challenge for parents as well. Maybe the biggest challenge you've yet faced since having children. This book holds insight. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's a self-help book on how to be a parent. Okay, so 0451. Uh, actually, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and close out the video here, and I will pick it up next time. So if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe and all that shit, and I will see you guys next time.